And we're back. It's about any problems with your purchases, I suggest you mosey along. We're not here to talk about the documents. Silver Shard, tell us what you know. As soon as I mention the shard, I feel a sharp gaze of everyone in the tavern, their eyes intently watching us. I should have been more careful with my words. Yeah, really. We should talk somewhere more private. Saber leaves is outside. The streets are almost empty at this hour of the night. I can't make any promises, but rumor has it that the Silver Shard resides in the Demisio ruins. Those ruins only exist in legend. There's no such place on any map I know. I don't recall ever hearing about them either. Ah, uh, but you see, they aren't just a legend. The Demisio ruins really do exist. And I can get you there. But it's going to cost you. Of course. How do we know you're not lying to us? You could just be leading us in to any old ruins and knowing we wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Cross my heart. I've been to the ruins myself. These ones are special. Will this cover the expense? Impatient Amaris reaches into her cloak and pulls out an alluring jewel. The sparkling gem is enchanting, leaving me so mesmerized that it's hard to look away. Where did you get this? Um, this will do just fine. I'll provide the coordinates to your destination. I'm sure it has more to it than just coordinates. Is there something you're not telling us? Saber winks. Mm, I wouldn't want to disappoint a lady. You have my word. <laughs> I like him. Can we keep him? I love her. <laughs> Thrown off by hi this reaction, Saber ro roars with laughter. <laughs> I like where this is going. I'd be honored to escort you lot, but uh, again, <clears throat> for a fee. Do you have any more of those jewels, Amaris? Damn, we're just like milking all the other girls in our party real hard, aren't we? Amaris sighs and rolls her eyes, clearly unimpressed. More walking. Great, just what I need. Can we get a wagon or something? These shoes weren't exactly made for long periods of walking. It's a miracle that they're still holding together at all. I should have just insisted. I should have insisted on getting new footwear when Katsune was gathering supplies for the journey. Oh come on! It's not so bad. We barely even moved yet. That's no way to talk to a lady, Lucas. You have much to learn. She could use the exercise. And I could use death right now. And besides, we need to cross a mountain, so the path's way too steep for a wagon. Ugh, this is more exercise than I get in a year! I'm an academic! Physical activity isn't really my thing. Physical fitness was the least of my concerns back at the castle. Exactly why you need the exercise. Katsuna chuckles, siding with Lucas Ishii. Traitor. He's right, you know. A little exercise never hurt anyone. A little?! We've been walking for seven hours straight! It's a long journey, and the faster we get there, the faster I can tell you guys I told you so. The Silver Shard doesn't exist. Lucas is still skeptical about the whole idea. Though he finally does admit that we need to do something about Harrison, he still won't accept a magical stone that may or may not exist as a solution. Sandy chuckles again, amused by our argument. Well, aren't we a lively bunch? <laughs> Too lively for my taste. Amaris lifts off her cloak, pleased to rid herself of the garment. There shouldn't be any humans around this remote area, so she doesn't need to worry about concealing her identity for the time being. Wait, you're a demi-human? Looks like no one bothered to inform Saber, though. Though luckily he doesn't seem to mind a demi-human being part of the part of the group. I merely caught him. It merely caught him off guard. I am not ashamed of who I am. There is no need to hide my parents any longer, now that we are outside of Osea. Well, um, that explains the jewels. <laughs> we should set up camp here. So good. The sun will be setting soon anyway. Yes! Finally! This is a nice spot. You've got a keen eye for this. I think his profile said he likes camping. I had to camp out during some of my missions, so I have a bit of experience. Hey! Help me set up, would you? Oh, yes. Gladly.
Nice guitar. The music is really nice. Like... I would totally listen to this to, like, unwind when I get home from work. I finally have a bit of time to unwind. A bath at the river sounds heavenly. The crystal blue stream looks so clear and refreshing. I once heard that rivers are the arteries of the forest. Right now, I'd believe it. This one sparkles like tinsel. I take off my attire piece by piece, setting them on top of a dry rock. I can't wait to take a dip. The water is com comfortly... Com <laughs> Comfortingly warm in the cool light air, and I smile, finally having some time to myself. I really needed this. I guess I hadn't really let myself relax since the incident. Blissful moments never last long enough. Long, though. I hear rustling nearby and quickly get up to investigate. What's going on? I nervously move closer, and from the corner of my eye I notice... I can't save. So I'm guessing this is Saber. Pink is, uh, Katsune, so I guess Pale Curls is Amaris, and then short tuft of, tuft of short black hair has to be your sweet Lucas. You? What are you doing here? I love it. He shouts at the top of his lungs, his ears red from embarrassment. Looks like I'm, a, I'm not the only one bathing in the river. His dark hair is soaked and watered droplets strip from his face and toned body. I snap out of it, realizing what situation we're in. I panic, wrapping my arms around my chest, turning back to him and scream, Lucas! Get out! But you're the one who walked in on me! Not on purpose! But then again... <laughs> Anyone else thinking of, like, the Krom and, uh, female Robin, uh, support conversation? Well, it's not like I've never we've never seen each other naked before. I can't help but tease him a little, knowing how easily flustered he gets. He splashes water at me, <laughs> in spite. Listen, teasing soft boys is like the best thing in life. Teasing anyone that you can get away with is like the best thing in life. We were only kids. It's it's different now, okay? Different how? Y you know what I mean. <laughs> Didn't he say I'm like a brother to him? Guess he acknowledges me as a woman after all. I can't help but smile a bit. Pervert! Okay, okay, I'll get out. Just don't look. <laughs> well, that was incredibly awkward. Better get back to camp before it gets too late. We're back at the road before dawn. Let's save here. Uh, it's because I missed a save last time. Let's go to the next page. Oh, here. My eyes are still begging... Or my eyes are still begging to close, my legs barely moving, dragging my feet weakly with them. The mountain path is narrow, so we walk in a line, one after another. Not scared of heights, are you? We're pretty high up. I'm not scared of heights. I'm scared of falling, though. Falling is terrifying. I hate that feeling. Heh, <laughs> this is nothing compared to the top shelves in the National Library. Clearly it was a joke. This is definitely the highest I've ever been, but I'm too exhausted to care. Sleeping on the ground isn't easy as, as easy as one might think. I could barely sleep at all. Careful. There's a reason not many travel on this road. Is there perhaps another, less risky way to reach Damaris? If there was, Tomorrow. do you think we'd be here right now? The ground is soft from erosion, and falling from this height would be the end of me. Better buckle up and focus. I'll have to step carefully. Right after thinking that, the ground beneath my right foot begins to crumble. I love that little shake that everybody's like, like right there. Like, it's so cute. My life flashes before my eyes as I finally realize just how high up we really are. My instincts tell me to jump. Jump. Why can't I click it? Anyway, okay, I guess it was just a delay. Hi, you're not going to take me today, Mountain. Riding on pure adrenaline, I quickly shift all my weight to my left foot and manage to jump out of the way. Phew, that was a close one, but it looks like I'm not the only one struggling. Ah! <laughs> Suddenly scream pierces the air as she loses her balance. I simply reach out and hold her until she was, she has stable footing. I could have handled that myself. I never had that before. Last time I clicked jump, I guess maybe, I don't know. She was the one who helped me up. I risked my life to save her, and this is how she thanks me? Really? 
How? Aerial magic. All right, she was never in any real danger. At least I know she won't fall off the ledge so easily. We're here. Oh, piano again. We're here. My eyes scan the area, but I don't see anything other than an empty field. The demute, the mute, the mute, the mute. How do how we? I thought it was Damaris. Ruins are nothing but a legend after all. What did I expect? For them to just be sitting out here in the open for everyone to violate? <laughs> there's no, there's a reason nobody believes they exist. See, I told you this was a waste of time. Stop being so negative, Lucas. I was literally about to say he's being a negative Nancy. <laughs> I'm just being realistic. If the Demesia ruins and Silver Shard are real, why hasn't anyone tried to harness its power? It's not like I'm the first heir. You're naive to assume no one's tried. Now you're believing you're an heir, he? <laughs> yeah. For centuries, the royal family of Lucarin has tried a multitude of ways to find a Silver Shard, using every trick in the book. It was only under King Edward's rule that a stop was put to this wild goose chase. King Edward was an honorable man. An idea how to locate the mate? The Messia ruins then, Maris. I changed the subject without hesitation. Also, I am like lagging. Amaris is a demi-human with magical, with a magical core. She's much more in tune to magic than we are. If the I can't pronounce this. The Messia is protected by magic. She would be able to tell. Though these. There are humans born with magical capabilities. Those cases are one in a million these days. Hmm. This area is protected by a specter Wonder spell. Harrison is one of those one in a million cases. The Guardian must have placed it. There is likely a demi-human tribe nearby. Her ears twitch, listening carefully. Her senses are sharper than any of ours. <sighs> That's odd. I cannot sense any of them at the moment. You're a Guardian too. So you should be able to dispel it. Right? What Katsuna says makes sense. Amaris is also the guardian of a demi-human tribe, so she should be able to remove the spell with ease. I channel my mental library, trying to remember what I know about guardians. If memory serves me right, guardians are born with divine magic even more powerful than the rest of their tribe. Hence why they are usually assigned such an important role. As a former guardian, it was not that simple. I will need to make contact with the Guardian who is responsible, and establish a bond. There must be another way. The Spectre spell merely conceals and manipulates space, right? It just loops point A to point B, so it prevents us from ever entering the ruins. But that doesn't mean that they don't exist within that space. For a human, you are quite knowledgeable about magic. I grin, feeling a little proud that my effort is being recognized. Look at her hop from side to side, though, like bobbing her head. It's so cute. Most people in Lucarine don't, couldn't care less about magic. It's the first time my knowledge on the subject has been has impressed anyone. This is where I come in. Oh, really? Saber presents a number of talismans, each with a slight variation. I knew it. If he would have just given us the coordinates, this would have been a waste of time. It's nothing personal, just business. You have to play the game, making sure your clients always come back for more. So then, if you're on this little trip with us, how many clients could you have secured and how much money could you have secured in the meanwhile if you weren't with us? Luckily for you guys, I was feeling a little adventurous. I guess that answers my question. He's the most sought after dealer for, no for a reason. Not only does he know his inventory, but he also knows how to hook people. He arranges the talismans in a specific order. His eyes close as he chants a mantra in a language I don't know. A bright flash of light blinds my sight. A portal materializes, em emitting a soft glow and opening a doorway into the, mes the Mesia ruins. This should hold up for a couple of hours. I keep saying this to you. always messing with magic they don't understand. She doesn't bother hiding her distaste for Saber's solution, clearly disapproving of his casual use of the talismans. Ladies first. Age before beauty. 